just relax. No problem. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my uh, experience with day labor so far. I would, other than the pay being really low, and that always sucks, um, I haven't had a huge issue with it, to be honest. It's, so, the first the first day that I, I worked, I did go out and the first job I was out on was uh, moving furniture and I'm a pretty strong guy so at first I didn't have a problem but I'm out of shape hadn't done that kind of stuff in a while there was some really big stuff and I, you know it gave me a good butt whooping but so I'm kind of trying to skip out on any furniture moving right now so then I had another stint of a few days where I was helping out putting in new doing a remodel on a Whataburger gotta love Whataburger but uh, the I was I was helping the ceiling tile guys reinstall everything and and, and tear out the old stuff and stuffing insulation in and what whatnot and that's really not something I'd want to make a habit of uh, working with ins fiberglass insulation uh, it's not the most fun I was kind of itching for two or three days and stuff but really it, they were pretty pleasant to me it wasn't that bad you know overall I just it's not some not a gig I would want to do I uh, I did some flagging for a few days and that wasn't that wasn't terrible uh, it was pretty cold a couple of days and r real cold actually for me because it's been some time before I had been exposed to elements like that so uh, other than that flagging was pretty easy stuff uh, I wish it paid a little better of course but you know at least that one paid better than the the other first two jobs I went out on the other night I did get asked to go out on a like a like moving stuff around in the high-end luxury mall here in Houston it's called the Galleria and <laughs> I have a really funny story to that one guys uh, so somebody didn't show up and I got a call at 730 asking me to go in there and work work for them and uh, so I raced over there got there about 830 ish and called the guy the contact and he told me to go to the Saks Fifth Avenue and go in and go up to the second floor and and that's where they were and that's where they'd meet me well I was on a different side of the building that said Saks Fifth Avenue across and I happened to go in on the first level and there was a cage down because it was like after hours already it was on a Sunday and there was an but there was an elevator right to the side of it so I opened I went into the elevator I went up to the second floor just like I thought I was supposed to and I walked through this door in into the uh, store well turns out somebody had forgotten to lock uh, up what they you know what they call valet there and <laughs> and uh, I was roaming around inside the Saks Fifth Avenue after closing security guys saw me they called uh, the Houston Police Department and it, it was kind of a it was a little bit of a rigmarole uh, I ended up getting placed with the right people I'm glad I had some paperwork saying that I was supposed to be there not in that store but there to help out at the mall and at the time it wasn't very funny but now now it's it's pretty amusing to me so I've had that experience already and then uh, today I was working at a place uh, that does the laundry service for like medical establishments so like scrubs and and night the nightgowns and and in the terry cloth robes and whatnot so did that today 
Uh, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to have some s muscles in my rotor t rotator cuff area sore that I hadn't used in quite some time because they started getting pretty t tired there at the end of the day. But I'm, I'm starting to be, save up just a little bit of money to start not feeling like, uh, like the whole world could collapse in on me if even one little small hiccup goes on so that's that's a good feeling I can't wait until I don't need to do it uh, I, I really want to find something else uh, and I want to get back to focusing on you know just making enough money and uh, being able to really spend my time building up a income that I can earn mobily so thought I'd share that guys with you uh, you're kind of pretty close to caught up on everything in my life uh, when you see this it'll be it'll be posted probably the day after uh, one day behind or so so yeah anyways thanks guys uh, thanks everybody you know kind of encouraging me and and stuff and it, it's helpful uh, it really is I, I do appreciate it and those of you that have snarky comments uh, for me um, I wouldn't mind you like skipping those you know my it would be nice to have you skip them it's not a real time where I I got a lot of brain space for them. One last thing before I sign off here, I would like it if you guys would get over to the Facebook page, and I'm gonna put a link below. Sorry, I I miss it in the last video. Uh, just been rushing to do things, you know, uh, working quite a bit of hours, and then uh, trying to edit video and spend a little time with Catalina and and and, and stuff. So yeah anyways sorry about that last video please go and check out the Facebook page uh, please like it I've been putting up a lot of photos over there uh, if you're a Twitter type person or thinking you might want to start doing Twitter please get over to Twitter and follow me there's also a link down there and uh, I haven't for the last week I haven't gotten a chance to work on the website I am or the t-shirts to tell you the truth, but uh, uh, I'm gonna get to that, guys. Get out there guys, connect with people, live your big story, make sure you're doing something every day to help reduce world suck. Peace.